An Illinois congressman trying to spread the word about the increasing heroin epidemic in our state and all over the country. Last year alone, 545 people died in Cook County and the surrounding Collar counties from a heroin overdose. U.S. Representative Bob Dold is from Illinois' 10th district and is pushing what's known as Lely's Law. Our Elizabeth Matthews is here to explain that law and what it does for the heroin and opiate epidemic. Elizabeth? Scott Lawley's law started as a statewide campaign to get naloxone in the hands of first responders. That goal has been reached, and now a congressman is supporting Lawley's law on the federal level. I've never used it on someone, but I've had it used on me. How many times? Five times. Five times. Yep, and it's not nice. But I'm alive today. Michael Young is a recovering heroin addict and now works to get others into addiction treatment. His life has been saved by this, naloxone or Narcan, the heroin and opiate antidote. People go from, from being blue, not breathing, not moving, within three minutes sitting up talking to you. And it's a very simple drug. Laura Fry is with Live for Lolly, an organization created by family after the heroin overdose death of Alex La Liberté. Illinois lawmakers passed Lolly's law last fall. We have put naloxone in the pockets of police officers. In Illinois, naloxone is also slowly becoming available at pharmacies by prescription and will soon be widely available over the counter. Lolly's law is also being looked at on a federal level. This is not something that simply is in, is in the inner cities or in the back alleys. It's actually prevalent throughout every part of our community. Illinois Congressman Bob Dold is encouraging his colleagues to put aside bipartisan politics to pass the law. Naloxone has already saved more than 70 lives in the community of Lake County, Illinois alone in just over one year. The World Health Organization says that increasing access to this medication could save an additional 20,000 lives every year. What we're looking at is a grant that will give each state $500,000 to implement naloxone in, in the pharmacies in the hands of all first responders. This is one form of naloxone, a box of auto injectors that contains two live shots and one trainer. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. And you'll see the red safety guard right there. Remove the safety guard and press it against the thigh or upper arm. Five, it's the push against the thigh. Four, three, two, one. Injection complete. Advocates and recovering addicts like Young say Narcan is a game changer. It doesn't condone it. It saves lives, period. End of story. Bottom line. It doesn't condone anything. Those are just people who don't, it, they just want to stick with the stigma that they're addicts. They have to understand addiction first, you know, so that we don't have to use this. Naloxone comes in that auto injector form, also in a vial or a nasal spray. You can find it in select pharmacies, but it will cost you somewhere between three to four hundred dollars. Otherwise, you can get it at advocacy groups like A Man in Recovery Foundation or Lolly for Life. That's AMIRF.org and LiveForLolly.org. Scott.